One plus one. Two. Ang isa pa, two plus two. Four. One plus two. Three. Iba pala yung feeling na kahit hindi mo kakilala yung mga tao or wala kang connection sa kanila, tapos nakikita mo na natututo sila, na nag-aaral sila, masarap sa feeling. Pag binigyan mo sila ng ano, oras, pasensya, at yung mga knowledge po na kailangan nila malaman, na binibigay mo, nang walang kapalit, matatawag po yung pag-ibig, di ba? It is 8 a.m. on a Sunday. While others sleep in and take advantage of the weekend, these children are already up and about, excited because today, their teachers from Kariton ng Pag-asa, or Cart of Hope, are back. Ito ay tinatawag nating Luneta Park. Sabay-sabay nga tayo. Luneta Park! One, two, three, one, two, three. Wow! Ang galing Created in 2021 by the Kariton ng Maralita Network, a group of individuals and organizations who advocate for the rights of urban poor communities. The Card of Hope aims to teach students, out-of-school youth, and even parents who did not receive proper education the basics of math, Filipino, history, arts, and values, subjects that according to the network, Filipinos lag behind. They chose the Cariton or CART as the symbol of their pursuit and UP Campus Village in Quezon City, the largest city in Metro Manila, as their first target area. Pag dinaanan niyo po tong area nito, puro kariton, bawat bahay, meron pong naka-display na kariton sa labas. Aka Akakalain niyo po na ano, kailangan lang po nila or may parang dadalhin, pero kabuhayan talaga nila. Ay, hindi natin maitatago na meron tayong learning poverty. Kahit saan ka lumabas ka lang po ng bahay nyo, meron kang makakasalubong na hindi marunong magbasa, hindi marunong magmat. May mga tao talaga at mga bahay na hindi na napupuntahan ng government, ng school. Teachers of the Card of Hope are student volunteers who know the importance of education, which is why they make it a point to meet the students once a week. They also shell out their own money to provide for school supplies and food. On that Sunday morning, the children drew their dreams. John John wants to be a soldier, Benedict a cop, and Caitlin a teacher. Already in fourth grade, 10 year old Caitlin still cannot read properly. Caitlin is just one of the millions of children in the Philippines who suffer from learning poverty. According to the World Bank, learning poverty in the Philippines in 2022 was at 90.9%. .9%. This meant that 9 out of 10 Filipino children aged 10 were unable to read and understand short age-appropriate text. Minsan po talaga, kinahapos din po talaga, halos, syempre, ikaw po magulang, hindi ka po magpapapasok ng bata ng walang baon, ni wala man lang kain papunta sa school. That's why for many parents like Roxanne, the Card of Hope is a big help. And for volunteers like Angelica, being able to teach through the Card of Hope is a privilege. Alam naman po namin na hindi namin mabibigay yung edukasyon na hanggang college nila eh. Pero yung magkaroon lang po sila ng puso sa pag-aaral, yung maisip nila na kailangan ipagpotuloy ko yung pag-aaral kasi may mga tao na naniniwala sa amin. Hindi lang po namin bitbit yung kaalaman na pwede namin maituro sa mga bata, kundi yung pag-asa na pwede namin maibigay sa mga bata. Marigat ka pang samida, sheshe sa inyo.